Hello my friends, I want to catch up today with you and I also remembered I haven't done one of these face cams I did one for my Barbie video and then I totally forgot that I wanted to do these So let's do another one together while I work on a speed painting I hope you've had such a great holiday season and a new year's I've been gone for like two weeks and we went to Seattle and then Colorado and then Zach and I and some of our friends rented a cabin to celebrate New Year's because Zach's birthday is New Year's Eve which is really exciting so we just had a very chill time but I always miss being home I miss my cats and so I'm excited to be back I'm just not in the groove at all I was in such a good groove before we left and now I'm like sleeping a lot again <laughs> and finding it very hard to get back to work but I am trying to get back into it. I just want to address January's upload schedule real quick. I don't think anybody really cares at all, but I've been uploading around two videos a week for the past couple of weeks. I've been really working hard to continue posting videos and to make stuff that I enjoy and to be more consistent with my work, and I've been really excited about that. The only thing is in January, I have quite a lot of big deadlines and so I might not be posting as regularly maybe once a week hopefully not any less than that but it's possible that I'll miss another week just because I have two really huge deadlines so just letting you know maybe expect a once a week video although I'm planning on two times a week still We'll see. Feel free to follow me on Instagram or TikTok if you want to see what I'm posting there because I tend to post there much more regularly than on YouTube. I post really miscellaneous stuff on TikTok because it's just super fun. And then on Instagram, I post a lot of my finished pieces and shorts and process videos. So if you want to follow me on social media, feel free to. But I, for the past like several years, have been posting New Year's resolution videos at the beginning of the year. This year is really no different except for, I guess, my approach to my goals for the year. I think like everybody else it's hard to have resolutions because if you fail your resolution really early on then you're not going to be incentivized to continue doing this one thing that would better your life because you've broken your resolution whatever however you want to put it it's always great to step back into the office or into your work schedule or school schedule and set yourself goals for the year because the holiday season is so hectic and your regular schedule is already out of the window or out of the picture anyway right i have very few goals for this year but they're pretty big i'm gonna be finally doing it again i'm gonna be doing a no spend i did a no spend in 2018 or 2019 and was very successful i did it for over more than a year i had like strict guidelines on what counted and what didn't like if a piece of clothing that i really like wore out like a basic turtleneck i can buy another basic turtleneck or obviously purchasing socks underwear those are basics refilling a piece of makeup that i use and has run out but not buying myself extra fun stuff i think i can be successful with this this year because i am a huge shopaholic especially when it comes to stress and i've realized that it's something that i think i also do because of my ocd or anxiety or depression or something but i'm a huge shopaholic and it's not like a habit that i love i don't love spending money on random things especially when i have a family to provide for my husband and i both provide for each other but it's not just me myself and i that i'm looking after that's a really big adjustment for myself being married is i can't just buy myself whatever i want to whenever i want to because I have a family. <laughs> it's not just me, myself, and I, and the cats. So I think I can be pretty successful with this this year because for one, I have been pretty good over the past two or three months, especially since I've started my medication, to not actually spend a lot of money. If I've spent money, it's been very little. I haven't been doing Target. <laughs> this is crazy. You're like, I don't care about any of this, but it's my life, so I'm gonna talk about it. I haven't been doing crazy Target runs. If I've placed an order on Sephora, I'll just go in and cancel it. I'll do it really quickly. I'm like, this is a great sale, and then let's say 30 months later. Later. I'm like, I don't need that thing. For the past three months, I've been so good about purchasing things. And because my birthday just happened and Christmas just happened, I usually buy myself quite a lot of things every single month that I have gone three months without purchasing myself anything, right? So for me, I feel at the moment that my birthday in November and then Christmas, I have had an overload of beautiful gifts, especially things like skincare and makeup that I can continue using. I think I think I can be pretty successful at this, so I have a goal for no buy. If I do buy something and I don't need it, that's okay, but I'm going to mark every single thing that I purchase down. And kind of in this goal is that if I really, really want something, I can put it on my Christmas list or my birthday list because historically I just buy myself whatever I want to, whenever I want to. I am childless. You get me. Something else that I do, which really does matter, is I buy a lot of things for the home, not even just for myself, like makeup or hair care or whatever. I buy a lot of home stuff. I do a lot of home renovation. And so that's something that is difficult. When it comes to no buy and home, 
home stuff and home renovation. I think this just will translate into being a lot more mindful about what I purchased, trying to buy secondhand, trying to go thrifting more often, going on Facebook Marketplace, maybe even DIYing or creating more decor myself. I don't know how that's really gonna factor in because if I'm gonna be honest, that's where a lot of my money goes is home stuff because our home isn't fully furnished and we have a pretty large home. It's really fun to work on decorating your home. But that's where most of my money goes. So that's gonna be the big challenge, not necessarily buying things for like makeup and skincare and clothing, just home stuff. This is such a not art related goal. I think it's fun to talk about because it's about discipline and I have so many lovely things and I don't need to buy more things. Hopefully I can go longer than a year. Something I do want to mention is generally for my no buy thrifting is a gray area it's like kind of up to my own discretion i think if i go thrifting i find something and i think it is great and i would like to buy it like full price i'll purchase this thing i won't write it down though justifying it however i can to make myself feel better about myself but trying not to buy anything new anything i don't need i have two more things um oh okay My second, don't hold up the fingers, it's gonna do a party again. I have two more things that I've written down for kind of my goals for 2023. One is art related, one is not. The second is not really a goal, it's just something I wanna keep track of. And I saw somebody do this in a really funny way and I'm just curious, honestly. It's not depressive or it's not funny, I'm just really curious. I am really curious how many times I cry this year because I'm a pretty big crier, but I don't feel like in the past couple of months I've cried very much at all. And I feel like I used to cry every single day. This is unimportant. I'm gonna document how much I cry this year and why I cried because I think that'll give me a little bit more insight into my mental health and what sets me off or what are bad habits. So that's my very silly little thing that I'm gonna do is document how much I cry. My very last goal for the year, which is an art goal. I'm a pretty superstitious person as comes from my obsessive compulsory disorder. And so I find it hard to say some stuff that I really wanna happen without thinking that I'm gonna jinx it, but I'm gonna say it anyway, cause that's not the way that works. My goal is to make one digital painting a week for this year. I have never been successful in keeping up production in terms of drawing every day or making this many paintings or drawings every week. But at the end of the day, if I'm planning on being more serious about YouTube and posting like two YouTube videos a week, I feel like I should be able to get to digital painting once a week. And I would be so proud to have like 52 paintings at the end of the year. I would be hoping that if I keep this goal, I'm definitely gonna have more than 52 paintings because I'm finishing up a lot of paintings for my book this year in January. So that's where a lot of my time will be going. So hopefully I will have made a record amount of paintings this year, but you know, no promises and I can't hold to that. So what if in January I make all these paintings and I completely burn out and I don't wanna digitally paint for weeks or months. You never know. But it's kind of a goal that I'm going to try to work on a digital painting every week. It doesn't have to be great, just needs to be done. So I've done, I've made one today and I'm excited to see what next week's is going to be. It doesn't mean I'm just going to be painting one, painting a week. You get me at least one. But I guess it won't be too hard on myself. Like if I do 30 paintings this year, I would be so much happier because I don't think I made that many paintings last year. I think I made maybe like 15 maybe 20. So even if I say one painting a week and then I end up doing 30 instead of 52, it'll be so much better than this past year. I'm not gonna really stress too much. I'm just gonna tell myself to work hard and do my best and that'll be good enough. Those are the three big goals that I've set for myself as this year has, this past year has turned over into a new one. I've had work goals since September. So it's not like this is all of my goals in general, but these are my new year specific goals goals. Let me know if you have any yourself, if you know you've been having a good couple of weeks so far, and if you're getting back into the swing of things in January, because January is one of the worst months, is it not? Probably only eclipsed by February. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it and subscribe. Turn on notifications to know when I'm posting new videos, because again, I'm trying to post every week or twice a week, and I also post shorts. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!